Hello. Uh, birch bark is a very versatile material, and in Finland, birch bark is used to make a lot of different things. Uh, you, birch bark has been used to make uh, containers of different types, such as this food container right here. Uh, it's been used to make backpacks, braided backpacks, as well as even shoes. And uh, you could also use it to make a, a brush for washing dishes. Uh, but today I would like to show you how to make a durable uh, knife sheet out of birch bark. This is uh, approximately, I'm not really sure, but I think this is about from the late uh, 19th century, so it's, uh, it's about 100 years old at least. And it's just got this simple knife with a, with a hand forged blade, uh, which is just inserted into a piece of, of curly birch. And it's really a very simple utility knife. It's uh, in a way a predecessor of the uh, commonly known puko knife. And here's the sheet. As you can see, the sheet is just it's, it seems to be made out of braided uh, birch bark and in fact you can see that there are some more uncommon features to it. Uh, the technique as mentioned earlier is not very common in this case as this is uh, a, a, a braiding or, or plating technique which is, seems to be very archaic and, and you don't find this on too many sheets in Finland. In fact this is probably the only one I've ever seen this technique. Uh, a much more common technique is the regular plating or braiding technique in which you just you use um, uh, long strips of birch bark. They can be separate strips and you start laying them across each other and, 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 and building a knob in a pattern and then turning them around and going back again uh, strengthening them so you have a double layer of, 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 of interwoven uh, braid plates. This is the knife I want to make a sheet for. Um, as you can see this knife is um, also a very old knife. It's an antique knife and uh, it's uh, again it's also in the, in the simple blade the hand forged blade is inserted into a piece of curly birch which is, forms the handle and uh, as you can see the blade has some uh, stripes on it which indicate that this is made out of an old file to, uh, to begin this project you need to ma first make yourself a liner and I made one out of birch tree and you can see that the uh, blade fits in nicely and perfectly. Just make sure that the uh, the opening on the liner is, is carved out so the knife won't snag anywhere. So this is the first stage. And the second stage is obviously to, to make sure that you have a birch bark available for the project. So now I'm just trying to clean this up a bit and, 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 and roughly shape it the way I want it. So see knife is here. Uh, it can be a bit thinner because uh, this birch bark has to wrap around the knife so and then also go around the uh, this uh, the blade so so you have to uh, adjust this as you go on and make sure you don't cut too much. Uh, I'll just try eyeballing it as you go along. Do fine. Okay. There we go. It's really thick stuff, so you know you if you use scissors, just use a sturdy one. So, yeah. Okay. It's gonna be like that. So the birch bark I'm using is perhaps just a little bit on the thick side uh, and uh, you can always select a younger tree with a bit thinner birch bark uh, 
I just happen to select a bit of an older tree so so the birch bark is stiffer and a bit harder to, pl to work with but uh, nevertheless it'll for this it'll work just fine but I just have to you know work it a bit harder so okay let's get in there you can see kind of the this is kind of what I wanted to be here's the uh, fold and okay yeah that's it's gonna extend quite nicely here's the uh, first bend and the liner goes about here and the blade goes about here and yep yeah, it's long enough perfect This way here, and this way here. You might want to leave a, a bit of extra material here. You know, the the top top folding material can be a bit longer because once you start uh, working this and trying to uh, braiding it, then then it's good if you can uh, fold it over, as you can see on the. Uh, original here this has been you know, folded over from from each side so it, it makes a more durable sheet tip if you can do it that way so so this stage is where I'll proceed to cut the birch bark lengthwise uh, but keep in mind that uh, I just I don't want to cut the inner part of the birch bark. This will remain as it is uh, only the outer part of it and uh, this is part of the structure so if you kind of glance at the uh, it's kind of dark here but if you could see you could see that there's this this is just this is the, the, the cut ends here at the tip and doesn't proceed inside the the sheet so it's just this upper part which is cut lengthwise and then braided I think four cuts will be sufficient. So just the first cut, you just, just eyeball it and proceed cutting through the uh, one, one set straight across the middle. This. As neatly as possible. Okay. Now, don't worry about having uh, ex an excess of material width-wise because you can adjust this as the project goes on. So the most important thing is that you have enough material to work with because you can't add material later on to the project. It all has to be there. Okay. So we're up. I'll take another piece, so you need a few, you will need a few pieces of birch bark and I'll proceed to take another long piece of birch bark and I'll uh, cut an even strip out of it. Uh, approximately, yeah, in this case it's going to be like a I'll say half a centimeter wide or less than a centimeter anyway. So. So now I'm going to start off by inserting this. If you look at the from left to right on the th top, the third strip, cut strip. I'm going to add this on here and then fold it behind this. So that'll give it like an anchor point. So it lock it, lock it 
down here if you can see it's kind of difficult to see so I've made like an anchor point here for it and then I'll proceed to wrap it around just even even an odd so I'm, I'm gonna have top and go top and then underneath and then top again and underneath so now I'm with underneath so I'm gonna go top on the next then underneath again see what goes oh, such a mess <laughs> oh, I just noticed one thing when I'm making this is that I, I, I uh, need necessarily need to have an uneven number of, of strips going this way because uh, once I'm wrapping this, if it's an even number, then the wrapping will just, you know, crisscross in the same. It won't crisscross in the way I, it needs to do. So uh, uh, I need like nine strips instead of eight, which I have now. So I'm just going to cut one of these uh, corner strips uh, once, so I'll get five on one side and four on the other side. And in fact, I realized when I was looking at this this knife sheet, the same thing exact thing has happened here is you have four strips on this side and five on this side so so this is my starting point take this thin traversing strip and I'll place that bend it on underneath one of these uh, cut strips the, the, the vertical strips and uh, I'll just start braiding it I'm going top below and top again so I think this, this first bit is the tricky one but you know, once you get going it gets easier as you proceed with the project. Let's see. So underneath the next yeah. up a bit and see if the uh, knife will fit inside this sheet and uh, if not then I'll do some adjustments maybe cutting it a bit and so on but it looks kind of nice I'll just try, try tightening this up a bit first Here's the belt loop and at this stage I'm going to remove the knife to make it easier to pry this through the braids. So essentially what I'm doing is just, just feeding this through in the same fashion as I've been you know, putting the uh, birch bark. Okay. Just 
And we just tie this off here and uh, I think our recycled leather belt loop is done. But just check the fit again. So, I think we're done. This it's really fits really snugly into its sheath, the knife. So, uh, yeah. Perfect. This is exactly how a good sheet is supposed to be. Sturdy, durable and well fitted to the knife it holds.